You know, some of you get it. Some of you are starting to grasp what's been going on, how it plays out, how things are being revealed, how things have been repetitive when it comes to your life. I commend you on that because that requires courage. But there's still a lot of work that has to be done. Some are making a conscious choice to take a position, an ideology, which is nothing but fact or what perception of fact is based off of an emotional response. And it's not adding up. No matter how many times that you turn around and try to go over and over and over again, you're starting to feel awkward right now because the result is the same. The devil's a liar. Needless to say, see, I understand that uh, this is going to reach somebody, and that's why the devil's doing what he's doing, but that's okay. See? See, the devil don't like to be called out. The devil doesn't like the fact that you are starting to go within. So right now, the variables have been turned up a notch. The situations are becoming a little bit more closer to you. You're starting to see things that you thought had no relevance, but actually they were there the whole time. Let me tell you something, y'all. When you decide to see your value, to see your worth, the only option you have is to go within. When you decide to stop allowing the distractions, you know, those fears and those hangups that have taken emotional real estate in your life for oh so long you actually thought that that's supposed to be no it never was and it's not but what will come out of it all is still truth who am I talking to? See, as you already know, the, electric, the election is over with. The results are done. And you got a lot of people feeling a certain kind of way, right? But it made me think, if the roles were reversed, would we still have that same effect 
yes, there's a commonality of the how people think and see things, which 85% of it is propaganda by way of the media machine. But still, it cannot hold a candle to the person you are destined to be. So what is being required of you now? You got to make a choice. Did you hear what I said? Now more than ever, you have to make a choice to define what has already been. Surely there are going to be plenty of people that are going to come into your life and they come to you either because you have a like-minded perspective or they see the uniqueness of who you are or a untapped resource that you bring. But now, the bond and the dynamic that was once shared has been brought into question now and you are literally seeing the proverbial saying of real recognizes real. Now, if anything, we can say from a spiritual standpoint, the process of the election was the greatest example of free will because see, nobody made you get up take your precious time to cast that sacred vote because it's done in secret. That voting booth was an example of intimacy with yourself. Why? Because they want to make sure that you have sound mind. They want to make sure that the decision that you're about to do and have done represents you. One thing that we can also agree upon is this. There was going to be someone selected. And there was going to be someone that would have to concede. Now, there's a whole lot of people scared nowadays. There's a whole lot of people feeling a certain kind of way. And metaphorically, this is nothing but another example of the grasshopper and the ant. And if some of you have never heard the story of the grasshopper and the ant, I'll just streamline it really quick. See, the grasshopper represented the environment and the benefit of the environment, not the responsibility. That was represented by the ant. And no matter what was going on in the environment, that ant prepared, that ant invested, that ant stayed focused. that ant saw its worth. So now, the morning after, you got a whole lot of people in their emotions. You have a whole lot of people also that want to exploit your emotions too. See, you could preach unity, but you can't have unity without a community. But you can't have unity until you know who you are. Who am I talking to? People are waking up now, realizing that the last 25 years of their life It was a delay. There was a coup to convince you that who you are and how you act is what you're about.
but it doesn't match your emotional state. It doesn't match your emotional state because you refuse to acknowledge that little boy, that little girl looking from, from the inside out. I've heard people echo through the years how they look so down on themselves, how the things that make you unique from the curl of your hair or the complexion of your skin and you have convinced yourself that you are less than. Let me tell you something. As long as you keep that mindset, you're going to keep doing time in your mind. Your feet will never be grounded. And there will be nothing but endless distractions to match excuses forged by fear. You know, fear. Finally, everything's a reality. But see, this is where I come in. Because I'm here to tell you what I already know. And what I know is you were made perfect. You were made wise. You were made beautiful. And you have a big heart. Even the most heinous person can't be heinous without connecting to that heart. So you got to have a passion before you can have an action. But what if that passion is not guided? So here's the beautiful thing about life. Some of you have been given spiritual gifts and talents. You know it. You've tried to water it down. Some have actually intellectually tried to bring your perspective to equal your environment, and it's not working out. You do understand you can't be defeated unless you embrace defeat first. So what's going on now? Got a whole lot of young ones out there marching and tearing stuff up. Pointing, <clears throat> pointing fingers and showing signs. But you know what's so funny about that, figuratively? All those examples had, before you could even embrace the position, you had to be taught. You had to see it before you could embrace it. I'll explain. Because you were made perfect and your legacy was written, validated by your first breath. You came on this planet physically with a clean slate. Does it surprise you that people that are all over this world speak different languages? They all started off as a baby. So if I took that, took a newborn from Russia and brought that newborn 
to Mississippi, everything that that newborn is exposed to, that newborn is going to take in. Even the dialect of the southern drawl. But will not be called, it won't be called into question until the individual starts to self inventory and assess and notice the uniqueness of themselves. Then there's a choice. Do you embrace your individuality or do you hide it? Do you run from your conflict or do you champion it? Do you ground your feet or do you just simply settle? You'll come to understand y'all your life is also based off of balance. Without any structure, you have no balance. Without any investment, which is required to time, you have no focus. So once again, do you know who you are? Because this is now the time I'm going to turn the corner of this video. Until you make a conscious decision to invest in you. All those people that have access to your life will see right off the bat what makes you unique, what makes you special. They're going to see it firsthand. And guess what? If you don't protect it, they're going to exploit it. If you don't value it, they're going to destroy it. So, what is going on now? People are running around like they're thinking it's a verse from Prince's 1999. They want to build what we know as anarchy. But the funny thing about it is a lot of them will turn around and discount and discredit this period of their time and just justify it as I was going through something. This was a dark period. I was detached. I was frozen. I was numb. And use all these type of descriptive words except accepting that the work has to be done. See, what's at stake, y'all, is your lineage. You play a part in your family history. You are the walking example of those who have come before you. So in other words, you're adding another brick on the foundation that those who have yet to be born will walk upon. You're also the reason why what we know as generational curses exist. Now you do understand that there's always been a spiritual war for your soul spiritual battle since the beginning of time because you're God's child. Now, I know I probably lose a couple people because you have chosen to have a position in your life that anything remotely that represents love, value, and the pieces that make you and I got that because if you knew how beautiful you were, how special you were, 
it would automatically contradict the mindset that you have right now. Do you have a right to feel perplexed or in, in flux? Do you? Yes, you do. But just looking at this, even in things that make you feel a certain way, just take a second. And ask yourself, will this position be a need or a want? Can I carry this position? Will it last or will it be just fly by night? Does it represent who I am? But that goes back to previous You can't say none of that if you don't know you. That means you have to embrace those emotions. Yeah, I know there's some of you that have very bad tempers these days. And some of it is based off of a chemical response. And the other half is a spiritual one because see nowadays people want to talk a good game but when it comes time to pay that price they're the first ones to run they're the first ones to turn a blind eye they're the first ones to make excuses why their life is not great I know somebody may be saying, well, Gerald, you know what? I hear what you're saying, but all I know is darkness. All I know is pain. All I know is despair. That's all I know. And I'm just going to work with whatever I got till I can't work it no more. But guess what? What is the payout? What is the payout? More of the same. Because guess what? Your spirit is like a beacon. The energy you put out is the energy you're going to receive. So if your mindset is of lack, less than, defeated, martyrdom, victim, guess what? You're going to attract. That's all that's going to come to you. That's all that's going to continue to come to you. And you start to see it, you'll see it in your environment. You'll see it in your physical form. Start getting sick. Start having panic attacks and anxiety. You know that ain't nothing but tests to break you. See, listen. If you don't love you, God can't protect you. He's the most patient being the great I am that you will ever come to know. But guess what? <clears throat> if your mindset is, I got a short fuse. I got no cut cards. Guess what? Everything will be temporary. All those connections and bonds, no matter how they're formed, even if they're formed by blood or bone, will be the representation of what's found in your heart. But here's the, here's the kicker of that. Because remember I told you, when you were born, you were an open canvas. You were open canvas for anything you wanted to do. Anything. 
So guess what? You know how I always bring up the environment, which is known as your living constant. If your environment does not represent support, does not represent protection, does not represent empowerment, you're not going to know what you're missing, what you need. Why? Because we're taught. The greatest task that you'll ever master, which will require your life, is to be able to communicate effectively with your environment. Some may say, well, I have to reach them on their lowest level, Gerald. Yeah, but if it's not authentic, it's pointless. So you got to take that victim card that was not, if you look at that victim card, you look at it, guess what? That was not yours. Your name's not on that. But you know what you will get out of it when you decide? You will have a testimony. You will have wisdom. You will have a wealth of insight. Each one, teach one is what they say. So what are you learning these days? Not to see your value. Why to, how to disenfranchise yourself to the lowest level? How about this one? Do you realize, I'll just hold that thought. Do you realize there's a lot of people that say they want a relationship? They, they envision being married, being someone's husband or wife. They say this, well, yeah, I always knew. I always knew that I was going to be somebody's wife or somebody's husband. And then the moment they do have that, ceremony, which is nothing but a ritual. A ritual isn't something that you do routine. Um, it fails. It fails. Over and over and over and over again. Two reasons why that's happened. The failures of your relationships is because you don't have a you don't have a relationship with yourself. You don't have a relationship with yourself because you don't have a relationship with God. See, you can't build a house without putting the first brick in place that will build to be built upon. But see, you have some believe that, well, you know what? Work smarter, not harder, Gerald. How can you be efficient if you don't understand what's required for the foundation? That's why it does you a disservice to willfully cheat yourself from the experience. The greatest experiences you're going to ever come in contact is the ones that make your life. But society wants to convince you that you can have a relationship without love in it. That you can have a relationship without to, without tapping into your spirituality. And you do understand everything that you do that does not represent. If you're not representing for yourself, who are you representing for? Devil's work is never done. 
maybe this is a season that all those ideologies and things that led up to that belief, because you can't have action without a thought. And before the thought is manifested to the belief, it's got to come from somewhere. But free will is what makes it happen. In other words, if I have a gun and I don't put bullets in that gun, I can't shoot you. But if I don't understand why I have that gun or why I have it, I'm going to end up shooting me. Who am I talking to? Everything that you're going to come to see, know, and display, you're taught. How do you think, why do you think that generational curses transcend the generations? Because it's taught. Maybe you are the one that's going to break the cycle and change the polarity of your family lineage. Some of you already know that because you're the person everybody gravitates towards, good or bad. But I've also come to know those people, <laughs> not to laugh, are the ones that are most tested. Oh yeah, you do understand that, right? Because see, just as God created you perfect, the devil wants nothing more to destroy it. But you'll never see him come look you out of eye. He has to hit you like most environment within. He wants you to feel it. He wants to see how you're going to respond to it. Some will identify it through their discernment, and some will become consumed by it. And you see it. How do you think that man sitting on that park branch talking to himself got there? Because he refused to let go of a certain perception. What's the payout on that, y'all? Your destruction? Huh? So yeah, there's a whole lot of people pissed off right now. But there's a blessing in that too, because guess what? For those who are aware, guess what? You're being taught. You're being shown. You're being privy to the behavior. But you've got the right to choose if you want to embrace it. Now, you're going to see this because at the end of the day, media has got to make their money. Notice the people notice them. You'll all notice the young. You don't see no, you don't see no older people out there. You don't see them. See these young people, these young minds. But let's call a spade a spade. There are also those that are pissed off and they're financing for your destruction because their agenda is to distract, delay, or destroy the makings of you. 
So you might be that person that will change the world because of your voice that will cause a person just like you to stop, to take note, to assess, to be vulnerable, to love, to empower, and to grow. This may be you. But see, at the end of the day, there are going to be a whole lot of people that will not stand in front of a camera, will not say a word, but silently, secretly, want nothing but your demise. That's the real manipulation. So, on a more intimate level, that same ideology is the reason why the people try to prey upon you. You know, tell you what you want to hear, but never tell you the truth. I can't stress it. You're not by yourself. You never was. And I believe what's going on, a lot of people are going to see through experience, by way of reflection, who, what, why, the investment was the way it is. Because I hate to tell you, there's a lot of emotional hijacking going on. And what's sad is these people actually think that those actions, choices, and deeds will never be called for payment. Don't you realize everything you do, everything is noted, recorded, and judged. So does it surprise you? You have some people that will not admit that they have allegiance and loyalty to their despair. No matter what you tell them, they will not divorce their pain. You know why they won't divorce their pain? Because it will contradict how they see the world which would do what? Cause you to embrace humility. Because where humility is, accountability is right behind it. But the sad thing is this, and I'm gonna bring this home. As long as you keep the position that you do thinking that you're just here, things just happen, you're giving car blanche and validation to every person that has hurt you, that has stolen from you, that has lied to you, why? Because until you decide to love you, they're going to see you like this. And they're not going to change. Now, you got to understand, y'all, because the two gifts that God gave every human being on this planet, 
first gift was unconditional love, to love thyself. The second gift was free will, the right to choose. Because of those two gifts, there are still those who do not know who they are. Have you ever questioned why your name is the name it is? When you decide to do that, I guarantee you'll understand that it has a correlation to your environment. Mm -hmm. Everything ties in. And that's on another note of numerology and stuff, and I'm not going to go there. But you'll start to see the synchronicities and the nuances that play out over and over and over again. And some of you have actually gotten shook. You got afraid because you felt those heartstrings and that mm, shook you to the core. This is not punishment, y'all. This is preparation of who you're going to become. I know that there, there are some people, I wasn't going to say it, I wasn't going to speak on it, but I will, and I'm going to shut this down. <clears throat> some of you may have come from an environment that was very dark, very toxic. In other words, you felt that you were raised in hell. And there was a lot of lack, a lot of struggle. And you've had to endure this. Now, you do understand the lack and the environment of that lack would not coincide with who you are and why you think the way you do if you just look back. You do understand that the position, the perception that your parents had are ingrained in you. Some of the things you like, I don't even know why I do this. Why do I like that? It's from your parents. So therefore, you were taught. You were taught by routine, by pattern. And those patterns either validated or it fragmented why and who you are to this day. Can people change every day? Why? That free will, y'all. But see, as long as you decide, I can't relate, Gerald. That Jezebel spirit is going to constantly destroy anything that is not protected. Them demons, you do understand a demon needs a body to have access on this ramp. So look at your friends. Your friends are a mirror reflection of what's found in your spirit. And it also lets you know through time. You may notice that you've been struggling a long time. And the same amount of time, it's the same amount of loyalty you have with your friends too. Because guess what? They struggling. They always say two heads are better than one. But what's the point of having two perspectives if one person won't speak truth and give you what you need? Who am I talking to? Lastly, everybody has been echoing for 12 years. We want change. We want change. 
when in actuality, what they really wanted was acceptance. They want a justification and validation for the position that they are. But real recognizes real. Just just what it is. And guess what? With or without your consent, God is going to give you the opportunity to claim you. It just depends on when you get tired and when you decide to be courageous enough to come back to that little boy that's been waiting for you, that little girl that has been so optimistic to feel whole. How about not be frozen? Some of y'all are having, some of y'all are waking up and having epiphanies that the life that you built was not your life the entire time. And maybe that's the reason what is being shown is non-valued. See, love can't be killed, y'all, because it's a, it's a display of God. It only transforms. But pain knows no time. It only knows sustainment. To have sustainment, you must embrace the condition. But if there's no accountability in that condition, you can't have ownership. You don't get a badge for being able to endure. But you do get peace, serenity, and joy when you decide to love yourself. I know there's somebody right now, you're afraid because you're basing your materialism by your emotional self. You're saying, I want to be happy. But all that ripping and running got you nowhere. Well, I've got all this. But you can't relate to it. So does it surprise you that your money gets ciphered out as quick as you get it? Maybe those people that have caused you great pain were to show you that, hey, if you finally stop running, you can do this on your own. And you could have done this all along. Are you going to kick yourself forward in learning that? Yes. Because you're going to say, hey, that was time wasted. Well, guess what? God wastes no time. And maybe that's the reason why you're hearing this now. And maybe now is the time that you're going to finally allow that emotional backpack to fall from you. You got to own yourself, y'all. You got to own it. You say, well, Drew, all they do is call me a hoe and call me out my name. All they do is disrespect me every chance I get. I don't know what I'm going to do. How about I have that conversation with God? How about you accept the fact that when you decide to be authentic, Let that heart have a voice. Because that's how he reaches us. When you're ready, you'll be still, you'll stand up, and he'll just say, watch. Watch what I'm showing you. Some of you may, at first, may be going through some spiritual attacks and I'm like, oh, I've seen this before. I know I've seen the ending of this. No. Uh-uh. Because the more closer you draw to him, the more closer you're going to draw to yourself. But you know what? The beautiful thing about truth, now you're ready to embrace it. You'll get to see the things you did not know. You'll get to understand the things that were hidden. 
and you'll know exactly what direction and actions need to be taken. You don't get a you don't get a badge for disrespect, y'all. But you know what you do get when you do love yourself? Protection. Empowerment. And peace of mind. Think you're not worth it? Just trust. All those people that are connected to your life right now are banking that you don't. God is playing for you. You know I am. I see your worth. And for that, for that, for that, for that, it helps me discern mine. Maybe this is the moment that you finally are able to be truthful with that little girl, that little boy, to acknowledge that Maybe the relationship and everything that came with it was a distraction from you all alone. You're priceless, y'all. You're not someone or something that can be bought. Claim your life back. Peace.